Good morning, children. Now we've got questions about those numbers again. We haven't moved on to the fractions behind us, but this is the direction we're going. So let's go and have a look at the numbers. Share the screen. Making equal parts. We did some of this yesterday. So let's just remember yesterday's. Complete the question below. The whole amount is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Six times three is eighteen. If the apples were divided into two parts, how many would be in each part? Eighteen divided by two. Let's put a line down the middle there. Three, six, nine. If the apples are divided into three equal parts, how many would there be in each part? Put a line here and a line there. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, this is what you need to get used to, children. So, Evie thinks that if she divides the jewels into four parts, there will be seven in each part. Well, let's have a look. How many have you got all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. All right, let's have a look. 28. Evie thinks if she divides the jewels into four equal parts, there will be seven in each part. Okay, so seven times four equals what? Four times seven equals what? Or circle them in groups of seven here. Up to you. Seven times four equals 28. Yes, she's correct because 28 shared equally into four groups is seven. Seven times four equals 28. Divide the shapes below into three unequal par unequal parts. Yay, that means they're not the same. That's easy. There you go. Hundreds of answers. Unequal. Equal? A bit more difficult. True or false? All the parts are equal. Smiley face, six. Smiley face is six. Smiley face is six. Smiley face is six. Prove it. Smiley face is six. Smiley faces. Oh. Well, that looks easy enough, doesn't it? Let's go and have a look at your questions. Jack thinks if he divides these stars into two equal parts, there will be eight in each part. So let's do a line in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's not correct, is he? Because there'd only be six. Divide the shape below into two oh, unequal parts. That's easy. Eep, a little one and a big one. True or false, both parts are equal. Two, four, six here. Two, four, six equal. Six on each side. Mo thinks if he divides the jewels into four equal parts, there will be six in each part. Let's circle six. One, six, two, six, three, six. Four. Mm. Oh, unequal parts, equal parts. Remember to read carefully, okay? So, good luck. I think you can do this one, okay? So, read it carefully. And the important thing is unequal or equal, okay? Read it carefully. I look forward to your answers. 